Next topic is levels of abstraction are we also called as different types of description with respect to Verilog HDL. So there are four levels here or four types of descriptions. The first one is behavioral or we also called as algorithmic level or we called as in terms of description we called as behavioral description. Next one is data flow level also we called as data flow description. Third one gate level description or simply we called gate description. Then last one is switch level description. So entire out of these four we discuss three in detail in later modules. So first one behavioral description or behavioral level. This type of description we also called as I level description. So describe the function in terms of a algorithm. That's why we called as algorithmic level description. So this specially designed for sequential circuits because we take one example here flip flops. So flip flops is depends on the present as well as past. So that's why better we choose a behavioral description for sequential circuits. So behavioral description is similarly look like a C programming one. So next one data flow level at this level module specifying by data flow. So this type of description so designer aware of how the data flow between the different resistors we called as RTL that is resistor transfer level. So he will clearly mention how the data flow between one resistor to another resistors. So that's why we called as data flow level. For combinational circuits the outputs depends on the present inputs. Whatever input changes then output is changes. So better we write a combination circuit in terms of data flow programming. So next one the gate level. The name indicates here describe the function in terms of gate level. We are using a different gates here. We have to design the gate. After designing the gate then we just interconnect the all the gates then it becomes the gate level descriptions. So here for gate level description we are using a complex circuits. For example full adder we can design using a data flow programming but that is 4 bit adder. In 4 bit adder we can write in terms of data flow but it's very difficult. That's why that can be overcome by using a gate level description that is 4 bit adder. Next one last one switch level description. So name indicates switch. So here it acts as a switch. So here we are using a different mass circuits. Mass circuits in the sense we are using NMOS and PMOS. So it acts as a switch. That's why we called as switch level description. So this is the what a low level description for the level of abstraction. So these are all the four descriptions here. The first one behavioral description. So here the name indicates so behavioral and algorithm. Here we clearly mentioned that function is depends on a algorithmic. So that's why we call it as algorithmic here. Then data flow description. The data is flow from one resistor to another resistor. So that's why we call it as data flow description here. Next gate level description. We are using a different gates. It may be basic gates or it may be universal gates or it may be special gates. So that's why we call it as a gate level description. So all the gates are interconnected here. So next one last one switch level description. So this is the lowest level of description. So here we are using a different transistors here for example PMOS and NMOS. So it acts as a switch. So that's why we called as switch level description. Next topic is instances. So once you create once you know about the module. So we already discussed then we next step is instance. Okay we discuss what do you mean by instances? So module provides a template from which you can create a new objects. That is provides a template that can be created. Then after this our module invoked then Verilog creates a unique object. Each object it may be a parameters or it may be a functions or it may be a IO interfaces. 
Each object may be a parameters or it may be an input output or any other functions. So after done this process, then create a project with respect to a template. That process we called as instantiation. So each object we called as instances. Okay. Again, I repeat the definition of instances. So module provides a template or objects. That process we called as instantiation each object we called as instances here we take examples here then you can easily understand the what do you mean by instantiation and instances so let us take example for module instantiation we take full adder circuits so this is the diagram for top down methodology so here top block is defined full adder then after this you have to define sub blocks so full adder is done by two off adders so this is the two off adders we are using next so what are all the leaf cells for the off adder then and xr and xr next move on to so block diagram for the full adder circuits so it requires two off adders as well as one or gate so here we know the sum equation so sum equation is sum is equal to a xr b xr c in we know the carry equation so carry is here we have to modify the carry equation carry equation you can write that is a xr b so here we getting a xr b that is connected to or gate then here we getting one more equation so then r with this output of the, that is a C2 based on this equation. So here one off adder, another off adder that is two off adders. You have to mention the what name of the off adder. Otherwise we can't write the program. So that's why we clearly mentioned off adder one, off adder two, then R gate. So here we have to assume three intermediate signals. So that is X, C1, and C2. So we'll discuss in detail about later modules for this structure okay but we want to take example for what do you mean by instantiation here so that's why we assume these circuits so once you know the circuit then we write the programming so the first step uh, in model instantiation the first step is we have to define a name of the top level block what is the top level block here that is full ladder we have to mention the name of the modules so what is the name of the module here that is full underscore adder you can write simply fa or you can write any other name okay the first word letter should be what alphabet only we can't write in terms of number that's why we write full underscore adder so inside the adder you have to mention what are all the parameters are required so here inside the what this bracket we have to mention the parameters inputs and outputs so what are all the inputs a and b and c in is the input then someone carries the output so again you have to define the inputs and outputs so input a comma b comma c in then output sum comma carry so already defined the there are three signals so that signals can be indicated the word predefined word wire it acts as a intermediate signals here then three intermediate signals x c1 and c2 but it should not similar to input and output so if it is similar then the program is what error so that's why it should be other than the input output names so that's why i take example here x c1 and c2 so once you mention clear the what declare the input output wire next we go to one by one first we consider off adder so what is the input of off adder here you have to mention the off adder name okay it's the name only okay it's the instances you can write any word here ha1 it's the instances that indicates off adder 1 then here so what is the outputs and inputs you have to mention clearly here so x is the output first you write the output then what is the one more output here c1 x comma c1 then what is the inputs a and b is the 
inputs. A and B is the inputs uh, to mention. Half adder first one, then go to half adder second one. So for the half adder second, what are the outputs? So half adder second sum is the output. Then one more C2. C2 is the output. So what is the input? Then X is the input. Then C in is the input I have to mention. So both the half adder here defined that is half adder 1 and half adder 2. Next move on to what? R gate. If you want to R write this separate program for R gate, you can write the what? Similarly, R underscore gate write R1. Okay. But there are some primitive gates available with respect to Verilog descriptions. So that's why I take directly R function here. R it indicates R function of what is the output? Carry is the output. Then what is the inputs? C1 and C2 is the inputs here. So that is the what indicates a first part of the program. Next instances. The name indicates instances. So instances in the sense here half adder to half adders and R gate is the instances here. So that instances we have to write the separate program. So R gate is already available. You can directly write. So there are two instances. So instead of two you can write one instances. That is either you can write half adder 1 and half adder 2. So same name we take the next part. That is a module half adder here. Module half adder. Then A comma B sum comma carry. So here you take S and C. So after this you have to declare inputs and outputs. So input A and B output S and C. So we know that the sum equation for the half adder. So A it indicates XR B. We know the carry equation A and B. Then end module. So here whatever write in this here instances. So that should be write the separate program. So the program may be in terms of data flow or in terms of behavioral description or in terms of gate level description. It's not a problem. So better we go to data flow description. Why data flow description? We always choose combinational circuits with respect to data flow descriptions. So that's why we write data flow description here. Module of adder. So A comma B S comma C. Then we write the assign is the predefined word for data flow description. We discuss later classes. Okay. So these are all the what module instantiation. Second example. You have to design a 4 bit adder. So, 4 bit adder using 4 full adders here. So, here it's a simple 4 bit adder. It's not look at or carry skip adder. It's a simple a 4 bit adder. You just connect the 4 full adders with respect to a series, then it becomes an a 4 bit adder. So, here as shown in diagram here, there are 4 full adders here. That is 4 full adders FA1, FA2, FA3 and FA4. So in 4 bit full adder the inputs we have to consider first. So obviously it is in 4 bit. So A, B that is A 3 down to 0 that is A0, B0 then A1, B1, A2, B2 then A3, B3. So these are all the inputs. So we have to consider the carry here that is C in. The scene may be 0 or 1. It may be 0 or it may be 1. Depends on designer. So this is again a scene is the one of the input. So what are the, what are the outputs here? So obviously there are 4 sums. Because it is a 4 bit 1. Sum 0, sum 1, sum 2 and sum 3. Last one. That is one more output is there. That is C out. If carry is generated then C out is equal to 1. If there is no carry, we are not considered C out. So based on this diagram, we have to take what module instantiation with we have to write here. So here there are three intermediate signals we have to consider here because so here we have to applied A naught, B naught and C in inputs. Then it produces sum and carry. So sum is produces here that is we call as sum now. That carry is what it's added with next stage. So that's why we take that C naught here we called as intermediate signal for the first stage. Again similarly 
C1 is the intermediate signal for the second stage. C2 is the intermediate signal of the third stage. Okay, this is three intermediate signals we have to consider here. Next, move on to the programming part. So here, first we define name of the module. So name of the module is four bit adder. Four underscore bit underscore adder. So inputs here. A is the input, then C in, then outputs. Sum is the output as well as C out. B is the another one. That's why we mentioned A, B, C in, sum, comma, C out. So next is very important declaration, input and as well as outputs. First we have to declare the inputs. So input. So how many bits in each input here? A and B. So there are, it's a 4 bit, right? So that's why we mentioned 3 down to 0, it indicates 3 down to 0, A comma B. It indicates both the inputs A and B both are 4 bit. That's why we mentioned 3 down to 0, A comma B. So next, you write separate input for the scene. Why? Because of scene is what? It's a single bit. It's not a multiple bits. So that's why you have to write scene is the separate here. Input scene. So next, you have to declare the outputs. So what are the outputs here? So sum and C out. So sum is what? It's a 4 bit outputs. So that's why here output 3 down to 0 sum. So next output C out. So here output you have to write the C out output separately because of C, t C out is what? It's a single bit. It's not a multiple bit. So that's why we have to write separate. So after this once you declare the inputs and outputs next move on to wire. So we already discussed Wire is what? Intermediate signals. So what are the intermediate signals here? C0, it's an intermediate signal of first stage. Then C1, second stage. Then C2, third stage. So here, wire C0, C1 and C2. So once you declare the all the parameters, next move on to what? You have to write the each and every invoking here. Okay, we call the word invoking. Then full ladder, we name it as simply F1. So what is the outputs and inputs of the first stage that is FA1. So what is the inputs here? So A0, B0 is the input, C is the output. First you have to write the output. So that is the rules of what very like HTL. Sum0 that is sum of 0, 1 output. Then C0 is the another output of what? Full adder. But C0 is intermediate signal but it's the output of first stage that is full adder 1. Output next you declare the inputs. A naught, B naught, then carry in. This is the input of what? Declaration of full adder, first full adder. Then move on to second full adder. The second full adder, then sum 1. Sum 1 is the output. Then C1. C1 is the another output. Then inputs here. A1, B1, then C naught is the input. Next move on to F3. So full adder 3. What is the output of full adder 3? Sum 2, then C2 is the another output. Next, we have to mention the inputs. Then A2, B2, then C1. This is the what inputs of full adder 3. Next, move on to final full adder. That is last one. Then inputs, outputs here. Sum 3, then C out. Sum 3 and C out. Then inputs here. A3 and B3, then C2. So this is the what a programming part. Then you have to end the module. That is end module. So this is the what a simple gate level description or we also called as structural description of the 4 bit adder. So after completion of this one we have to continue the next part that is here we write the what a full adder instantiation that is invoking. So we have to write the a separate code for a full adder circuits.